welcome back to Chesterfield. This is part three uh, of my Chesterfield Lost Railway series. Um, we're by the Midland Railway because the line that we're going to be exploring today was um, one of the branches of the Midland Railway. We're going to be having a look at the Brampton branch. previous episodes of this series we'd looked at the Great Central Railway and the Lancashire, Derbyshire and East Coast Railway or the Dukeries branch as it was known and today we're starting from what is the only remaining Chesterfield Railway Station and we'll look at a number of branch lines that left the main line from Brampton Branch Junction which is a series of yellow lines just to the left of the junction there. So we're at the point, that's the main railway line through Chesterfield just there, we're just to the south, yeah the south of the station. Um, we're at the point where that Brampton branch left the main line here. Now there's a buffer stop here, and I think that's where um, as far as the branch goes, shall we say, these days. Uh, and as Phil's just pointed out, there is a rail, get a bit closer rail down there, look, it's still in place. So you can see this bridge look, We've got the two running lines at the far side, and then looks like, is there one or two lines here? Just one line would have been for the, the Brampton branch, yeah. wouldn't it, yeah. So it's now um, a nice concrete, I don't know if the word nice is correct, um, cycle path. just in front here it joins up with the alignment of the trap bed and we can follow that for a short distance uh, just past Queen's Park yeah there is there's more track in the trees there Get down there anytime soon oh wow yeah can you see the the tracks in the trees obviously not connected to uh, anything these days You go all the way down, down here, I wonder how far those go. Comes really close to the fence here, look. Tree growing in, uh, growing in there. Now this hasn't been, um, this track hasn't been closed that long in the grand scheme of things. Uh, compared to the, some of the other um, Chesterfield Lost Railways, I think it, was it at, uh, oh, I have to get my sheet out here. Was it the 80s or 90s? Um, that they stopped using this. Point is that point work? That's the point where it shot right and then one went down to a buff, I think. So we're starting to come off to right, so we can join this path here, isn't it? Well, done it. it just fizzles out in a second. See the wooden sleepers? It's in amongst the grass there, look. Being at the side of the railway, you'll commonly find um, fruit plants, fruit trees, uh, blackberry bushes all the way down here, nice tasty free snacks. Seasoned with the aroma of the A61 there. Uh, right, Phil, yeah. The occasional sprinter. So straight after leaving uh, Chesterfield, we cross over the A61. And that'll be the noise that you can hear. Now in episode one, we looked at the Great Central Railway and that's just, we think, just around somewhere over here to the left before it went through Horns Bridge. So this bridge was only put in in the 1980s. So we're quite late on in this life, uh, this line's lifetime, because this is when the A61, um, the Chesterfield A61 relief road was built. Um, which you'll know all about if you watch part one of this series and we've got three bridges in quick succession now um, I think this next middle bridge is this is an older bridge it's got a new top on but if we get down underneath we'll see all the old abutments uh, from the old road 
So here we are underneath that. It's the original bridge, but it's got a new top on it. It's not the original railway bridge like the other two. Must be GH stand for then. Well, the times I've looked at these identification plates and tried to understand any of them, well, I don't know what any of them are. Brampton Goods, no, Page. <laughs> It's Horns Bridge, straight in front. You can't see because of this footbridge in the way, but you can see the old Midland Railway. That's the only one that's left in Horns Bridge. Uh, and we covered that in part two of this series. And here's the third bridge. Uh, and this is the, uh, the second of the new bridges that were put in when all the uh, new road system was installed in Chesterfield. It's a very well used um, trail this, linking um, various sections of Chesterfield. We're still on the track bed. There were many works and sidings that fed off the Brampton branch. Here's a couple of side-by-side -side photographs that Phil's dad put together. I believe the large buildings you can see on here is the old tubes factory that was just off Derby Road. This is familiar, I was only here a couple of weeks ago with my drone. So this is where the LDECR embankment and Boythorpe Viaduct crossed over. Came from in that direction. So under the Boythorpe Viaduct, the line split and a branch veering off to the left went up the Boythorpe incline, up to the site of the former Boythorpe Colliery. It looks like Boythorpe Colliery closed at the turn of the 20th century and there's no remains of this line or the incline left these days. So it's roughly going off here is that where that Boythorpe incline was up to all the works up there. I mean, it's unrecognisable, isn't it, Phil, these days, to, to think that there was that huge embankment and viaduct just in the middle of this opening. Bring your skateboard. So we've followed the curve of the line, just coming up. Oh, I've got the name of this road wrong uh, a couple of weeks ago when i was here is it park lane or park road i can't remember which one it is um, but there's a photograph of the level crossing by the cafe just down here we'll try and get the exact location uh, of what it looks like today so this is the view um of that photograph we'll look with a cafe on the left parkside cafe that through the trees and we just skirt the old railway line just round the back of, uh, of Queen's Park. So 1873 this line opened um, to at some point, I'm not exactly sure where it went at the very start, um, but it closed in the 80s or 90s, I think it was the 90s it, it stopped being used yeah, as a line, but we don't, we don't, we understand it didn't come as far as this i think it was just at the top end to access one of the works uh, and the sidings i remember coming here as a as a child I used to come to the park um just on the left hand side and used to cross over uh the footbridge and i don't remember there being a railway line i'm sure my dad would have pointed it out if it was still here Yeah, well, don't forget that original footbridge, Phil. They built Markham Road um, oh, yeah, that on that side, road, yeah. yeah true. So they probably had to would double have been up that. the bridge, I guess, in them days, because you wouldn't have to cross that carriageway there, would you? No. At some stage, uh, some stage in front, the line splits. That's right, there's a left yeah. fork in there in a minute that shoots around there. And then over to the right, to the uh, to the gas old gas works. Right. <laughs> found, found some remains. 
Yeah, it's just the Brant City engine shed, isn't it? That? It's the Queen, uh, Queen's Park Miniature Railway. It's hard to make out, isn't it? The little bit different rig work there, it might just yeah. be a single rail. We're just trying to figure out, just along this little section, the line's already split, we've got a branch going off to the gas works and then a branch going off down, I suppose down, carrying on down the Brampton branch. But, can't really tell any evidence of that on the road at the moment. But we're gonna go and have a look down at the, uh, at the gas works. Little spear off to the, the gas works first. This is a fantastic aerial photograph. You can see Boythorpe Road there, and we can see where the line split, and there's two level crossings on Boythorpe Road, seen in this photograph. So that gas works spur just came out of there where that little recess is, straight through those containers, if the map alignment's correct. Straight through this little, let's sneak it through here. I've got, I mean, it wasn't a bridge, it, it, it passed on the road. What's, What's this? Bus stop? Bus? Is that bus? Quarter of a bridge identification. Yeah, yeah. I did. Play. And if there was a bridge that went over this block here, wasn't it? What's, What's it? these little recesses for? I thought there'd be for gate, gate posts for the level crossing. Possibly. There is a photograph. Um, I don't know if it's this one or the one just there, just the one slightly further up. There is a photograph of a, a train going through that crossing. So we're now looking at the right hand fork of the line there, and the line that went into the Chesterfield Corporation Gasworks and Brampton Brewery. Got to get across this road now because we're going over to where. That archway is entrance to the gas works. I think that uh, sign sums up what's going on here, doesn't it? Through there, look. Came through here, yeah. look. One each side. So I'll show you on a map just where we are, just on the entrance to the gas works there. Is that yeah, just, yeah. Is it the water? Is that water blowing? Uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's a little river behind there, isn't it? <laughs> a little sign here. It's just answered the question we've just been wondering, actually. It flows into the rather. Right, yeah. Don Humber. North Sea. That's answered the question there, I keep. <laughs> so there's a home. So somewhere. it's the home, it's not the. I thought that was the hipper we was uh, following. It's not, it's the home. The hipper is around it. I think the hipper does, follows the other Brampton branch, mm. doesn't it? Are these the original chains then, do, do, do you think? Yeah, I mean, a bit, bit taut. So they went through the holes. We've got yeah, another yeah, hole yeah. on this side, look. And the, like the sign says, the. the Pass those chains across the road to stop the traffic. I mean, no engineering expert. Well, there must must have been lighter and easier things to do that job to carry the chains across. Oh, I thought they'd be that visual. They'd be only push bikes. <laughs> no, get beheaded. But well, this was smack bang on gas works, wasn't it? Yeah, gas works. So we're behind Mecca, Mecca Bingo, in just off to the right hand side there. Nothing really to to show you in this car park, but. Apart from that. Um, but yeah, something that's going to come into view in a minute. But this is where the lines came through. This was, uh, this was where the gas works, the gas works was. But then there's this building there, look. It's like it's been sort of semi-redeveloped. It's, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. What's that beat? Just notice that's called the junction. I think that's as in the railway junction, do you think? Out there, ain't a major junction, was it? Let's be honest, it might be a road junction. 
So that's the gas works on that side. And then the brewery was over where Matalon is. So we're back on this branch now and you can see the layers of industry that this branch line served. So we've got collieries, potteries, chemical works, just to name a few. And this next section does get a little bit more challenging. So I'll try and just fill you in as we go along with where we are on the old maps. Just through there, we think that's one of the stanchions uh, with a railway line across the river. See uh, some brickwork at the other side there, a bit too far away. It's a little bit too much greenery and foliage to be able to see underneath the, uh, under the bridge, unfortunately. But yeah, just after coming across Boythorpe Road, the line's just shooting across here and onto the road. And back to that superb old photograph, and I think that this bridge is just out of shot. You can see the river just coming in from the top right there. And here's a picture of a rail tour down the line in 1961. Now I was trying to figure out exactly where this photograph was taken. And you can see the old town hall in the background there. And I'm wondering whether or not that bridge that the, uh, the units parked on top of is the bridge that we've uh, just been looking at. That's the old Robinson's place, isn't it? There's a blue plaque there. It's a building known as Cannon Mill, one of the oldest industrial buildings in Chesterfield. We knew it was going to be uh, slim pickings uh, around here. We're upon just off that walk, um, trying to figure out where the trap bed was and where it wasn't. It's a boundary post, we think. Decent guesstimate from looking at the maps. Uh, that the line starts to cross over the road here. It's a big old gate post here. Well, it came over here somewhere. Yeah. So, I don't know whether they leave, but I'm crossing the line. It's going just through there, there's the border wall, all right. That's so where it's going now. Straight in front there. Yeah. Uh, according to the uh, according to the maps, it's Walton Chemical Works just on the right hand side, or what was Walton Chemical Works. Nice little bit of art um, on the fence for Sunoco. Lines on this side still. And it comes across us in a minute on a level, well, it won't be a level crossing, would it? It'd just be one single track coming across the road. I'm sure I've seen photographs of, of the track at some stage set into the road as well. Yeah, well, maybe they, they used to be, we crossed here, maybe they were embedded for years. Down here. There's not a lot left, is there, industry wise, compared to the, some of the stuff that you see that this line served. A couple of wonky walls, about a second one, I think. So we're suspecting the line came out through this gap. Yeah. Here we were, the, the walls. And straight across, maybe where the gap is on the other side there as well. We'll go and see in a moment. Whether it went through there or through that gap. But you can see the wall up where the line went. It stayed this side of that wall and that one's yeah. all the way along. Let's go over, let's cross over and investigate. So it stinks, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Not like that fuse. Getting some old stuff down there, aren't we? You don't ever see. So it's running along here, isn't it? It's fine, it's still not embedded, you know. Yeah. yeah. See, it's concrete, isn't it? And concreted over, do we think? Probably. Yeah. See, you can see all sorts of like walls in there, can't you? Look in this. I've seen photographs of this. Yeah, look. Brickwork. Ah, okay. And the entrance to 
break weights could have been here. And they're starting, you know, they're just because there's a little line going across, doesn't mean that you still can't the whole entrance be here, you know? Yeah. It's fencing, but there's, you can see like a wall or a, I don't know if it's a, like a platform edge or something there. Oh, for me, I think it's just a banjo wall, isn't it? It does look like a platform, actually. It's got a, like a cobblestone on top yeah, of it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a raised area, isn't raised it? Raised area, like a loading area Could or have something. Been. Could have been two lines, one was there and another one came into one. Actually, if them trees were in there, that'd be a reasonable shot of a track bed, wouldn't it? Yeah. Straight through there. You see the edge of the platform. Well, actually, it's still coming alongside of us here, isn't it? Look, well, what we're assuming to be a platform. So it's all this broken glass. Yeah, but somebody walked that walk here in 2050, and this might not be it at all then. You've got to remember that every generation there's changes, isn't there? Yeah. So we've, they might be gagging for something like what we've just seen there in, in 30 years. Well, exactly, and I have. There is there is instances of things that I've made videos of over the last few years that aren't no longer there. Yeah. So yeah. It bends round where this path meets up there. So this has been a few developments since the line took up, hasn't it? Still got an old feel about it. Look. Yeah. It's got like a little loading wharf. So that's about as far as we're going to follow the line up here. We're just going to go down this little footpath. Um, I'm going to have to check all these names and things, um, cross-check it with other maps when I get home, but I've got this one on the right-hand side of this, there's an old field pottery. And that's where the line, the very end of the line came. Ran in here somewhere. It's a little bit desolate wasteland. It's, I, would, I would say this area as a whole is in dire yeah, need. Regeneration, yeah, regeneration. Bottom end, isn't it? Definitely. Especially how when you think that it looks quite nice from Chatsworth Road, just through there. And all this behind it. Even seagulls are tourists, look. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Where's he It's just a story of disused industry all the way along this corridor. Hey, and we're at the back of Morrison's now. That's the end of our journey. Well, isn't it? Almost, but the line shot outside of that cottage there, look. One track continued through there, but you Straight can't see any there. kind of evidence of a breakage in that wall, look. No. It's never been. That the line shot through there. That wall looks pretty new, doesn't it? Yeah. Very uninspiring. But you can tell, can't you, before the borders look, if you like, because it's kind yeah. of... Well, it's angled. Yeah, the it, yeah. line went through the back of there at one time. So that's the Brampton branch. Oh, the end of the Brampton branch. Yeah, on the end of the, the Brampton branch. Interesting and very, very um, different contrasting three lines there. It's got quite a... Yeah, I really enjoyed getting underneath the, the covers, Chesterfield. Uh, I've learned I've learned a hell of a lot. I thought I knew Chesterfield quite well, um, but turns out I don't. And there's Chesterfield Tunnel. That's a, a good place to end this video, I think. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed these three parts that I've done in Chesterfield. The Chesterfield Lost Railway series that I'm doing hasn't finished yet, but I am going to park it for a few months. I've got a couple of projects in the making that I'm going to be doing later on this year. So I sign off from the tunnel entrance. So from Phil as well, cheers for today. Um, take care and we'll see you soon.